your imagination is a battlefield. As a fiction writer, not a day goes by that I am not living in my imagination, dreaming up new worlds and new scenarios to put my characters through. But lately I've become very conscious of the fact that there is an insidious darker side to imagination, which is when I let my mind wander to the what ifs and what could be's of life. This really tends to derail my faith and get me thinking about worst case scenarios instead of trusting God to take care of things. In these difficult times, I bet your imagination can feel like a battlefield too. You can either be applying your mind toward things that are good and noble and happy, or you can be thinking about how long our quarantine is going to last and what is the world going to look like in a couple months and am I going to run out of toilet paper? These are all very real concerns. However, when we get stuck in our imaginations and we just sort of sit in there and stew about it, we're tending to lean more on our own understanding of what things could be and not leaning so much into God's promises of what will be. He's got us. He's taking care of us. Let's make sure that when we're sitting in our heads, when we're quiet and in our imaginations, what we're imagining is the things we could be doing for other people, the ways that we could be taking care of our brothers and sisters in Christ, the ways that we can be spreading light and life and hope to a world that is really lacking those things right now. Let's not let our imaginations be hijacked or the battlefield be taken by the enemy so that we're sitting in our brains and wondering about what tomorrow brings. God's got tomorrow. He's got that covered. Let's spend our time in our minds, in our prayer closets, and in our imaginations, imagining the things we can do for God and for his people.